watching HSN, I'm Suzanne Runyon, and this is truly one of my favorite days ever. I love being able to share my passion and my love for creativities, and we have so many wonderful people joining us throughout the day, including one of our all-time favorite, Anna Griffin. This is her whole hour. We've got such a fun lineup for you. I'm just thrilled with tonight's launch, and of course, jumping into this show with Miss Anna. Check out this next item. Now, when you see this, it's just a quick look. This is all about the pop-up surprises, and we all love things that are interactive, but look at how amazing that is. Now, a lot of times Anna will make card kits that you will complete the cards and once you give them away, that's it. What's really cool is getting the magic to be able to do that, and that's what this die collection is all about. Being able to create this over and over again in a whole host of ways, all the different colors you can imagine, but now you're getting kind of the mechanics to it, so you can do this forever and ever and ever because you have the dies. Now, this was this is new, it's on sale at $30. $39.95 and of course remember we have five flex and five dollars to fill your entire cart today on shipping you only pay one five dollar bill all day after you spend five bucks on shipping everything else in crafting ships for free so that's one little preview for you of something that's coming up the second one is just absolutely so beautiful and again we love the interactivity whether you're doing this almost as a garden gate or it's an entrance to a home with a scene behind it this is called the 3d beautiful gate gate dies and so you're going to be able to get the outside and then also you get this incredibly intricate interior to be able to make once again just an amazing really elegant interactive card that's just a little sneak peek of what's coming up but first we're starting with something that is absolutely brand new and this is our cartouche cut and embossed folders by the way we have mini cinnamons that go along with it we'll talk about in just a second and what you're getting is three four by six cut and embossed folders which is three dies per folder in this set and you might say well I don't really exactly know what that is and that's why Anna is joining me for this hour and again this is absolutely brand new Anna we love you she is a rock star of the crafting world the quilting world the scrapbooking world the stationary world the everything world and I'm so glad to have you for a full hour my love Thanks, Suzanne. It's really great to be here. It's been quite a National Craft Month. Uh, we've been celebrating all month long, and it's really a, an honor to be here at the end of March and, and to look back on all the th 30 days of celebration and Women's History Month as well. This new item, Suzanne, is so great. People, we previewed it at the beginning of the month, and people said, where is it? And we've been waiting <laughs> till this moment. All right, we're, we're talking about a cut and emboss folder set that creates our sentiment stickers, okay? Look at this, so this is what comes in our card kits. They have a backer with a beautiful um, design on the back and then the sentiment on the front. And these come, in, this is from our heirloom lace paper crafting kit. Now you can make these on your own oh, wow. by cutting and embossing the background of the sentiments. So these have, we have square and circle and oval. And what's so great about this is that you're getting nine dies embedded into the embossing folders so you're getting square circle and oval and then again square circle and oval all different they look like little jewels and they're so beautiful that they can go behind just about anything to illuminate something so it's just like you know how a beautiful decorative frame die works on a card you can cut and emboss the background of a sentiment and you end up with a beautiful expression just to add that perfect highlight to your project. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do this and that is we're going to take um, just a plain piece of matte foil cardstock and we're going to put it inside the folder and I didn't have to measure and look, it doesn't even have to be straight. That's what's so great about this. And we're just going to run it through our with our A plates, through our Empress machine and no matter what, um, what if you have a manual machine or you have other an, another electronic machine this is going to create exactly what you want which is a beautiful little background every single time and we did design stickers to go with them exactly right. like perfect stickers size they're called mini sentiment stickers and they're coming up but let me just show you how easy it is to create some 
something um, with this set. So what, what we're looking at is uh, just a beautiful um, card starting with our Victorian 3D concentric dies. I'm gonna add a pretty little um, bouquet of flowers, but then my sentiment is going to go um, well, I don't have sentiment, but maybe it's stuck to the inside. Nope. All right. So it's going to go right in the center of that. And I can actually double these up to give myself a little extra something. But this is where the little mini sentiments come in, right? We want sheets of an oval and that's exactly what we have. We just go right through and it says, okay, best wishes, many thanks, wishing you happiness. Let's just peel and stick that. Um, they're kiss cut stickers and they come right off the sheet. And again, we're just gonna go right here, right in the middle. And now we have, we've built our own sentiment. We've That's given great. ourselves a, a way to always say exactly the right thing. And for me, Suzanne, you know, I like to have the right sentiment uh, at the right time. Hey, and Anna, for, for most, most of us, yes. Just real Sorry. quick, guys. We've sold over a thousand of these. Okay, so already we're two minutes into six, five minutes into the show. A thousand of these are already gone. I only have a couple more thousand for the entire day. And this is kind of a little baby dream come through, true because we, you know, typically you will buy layered stickers from Anna that are already pre sentimented. <laughs> That's a word. Here you're now going to make your own. And then, of course, you let your imagination go crazy and envision everything that you could put inside all these beautiful shapes. So they're cutting and they're embossing at the same time. You get all three. You're not picking which one. You get all three of these, which are actually nine total in our exclusive collection. Now, I would recommend if you're going to pick up the mini sentiment sayings, this includes 288 little stickers that go inside there. And this is natural for these two to be together. We do not have as many of the little sticker sayings as we do, of course, the main kit, but already wildly, wildly popular. And, and it's funny, I'm so glad you deconstructed your typical sentiment stickers for us because now we can just make our own. Exactly, and don't don't worry if you don't you don't want the mini sentiment stickers. So many of our stickers can work with these, meaning that if you have any of our collage card toppers where we have the extra stickers um, in the back, you can use those. You can use just about anything. These are going to these. This is going to say, look how perfectly it blends so with any of our die cuts, right? So the beautiful dies. You add the cartouche behind the sentiment. And what's so nice about these, Suzanne, is the size. The scale is smaller than normal. It, it does give us, because we wanted to give you nine different options in those three cut and emboss folders and being able to have them, you know, where you can always have a square at the ready. This is really easy. And if you're, if you're computer savvy and you love to, to make your own sentiments, by all means, print them out, cut them, uh, use any of your stamping dies to uh, to That's cut the, the sentiment and there you go right there you can just put it on the bottom of the easel card and on the top it's so versatile so easy to use and one of the things that's really pretty about crafting this time of year is you know all the spring colors and so here we have our gorgeous little oval and we're going to turn it sideways and then you are wonderful isn't that a nice thing to say to somebody that maybe you need to you know send a little note of encouragement somebody that needs a little boost, you, you end up having that exactly um, at your fingertips because you can create all of this opulence. You see how well, seamless you know it goes together you with know, our You know what might be cool is that the ones that are square shaped, how cool would that be to make elegant gift packages? Like you're almost like gift box. How cute, because they've got the shape of a box and you have this gorgeous like almost box that you could do on a card. Also the ovals, if you think about putting them this way as opposed to horizontally, they could be the most beautiful balloon if you really wanted to get super creative with them and make these really elegant looks, I mean, these shapes, um, uh, um, Anna, really can almost be used for a lot more things than just actually putting sediments inside it. Exactly. You could make a patchwork with them. They're a beautiful embellishment because the thing about our 3D embossing folders is the level of detail that happens in the embossing. And for some reason, it doesn't have the same specifications as our regular embossing folders. We can get more detail out of these and then put the embed the die so that it becomes a tool that you'll use over and over again. Use over and over again. You'll be able to... Uh, 
illuminate um, people to do exactly one of these sentiments one at a time so thanks and best wishes and you see how it just finishes off these beautiful cards and you're using your own papers and it's just it's a single pass through the machine and we're not doing anything really except adding our favorite words and maybe a little ribbon right so mm -hmm. thank you very much to the sentiment and we'll just tuck it right under that iris add a little ribbon to, to that and you know definitely want to get that straight but you see what I what I mean about getting this right. These I love to make things very simple for people. When you're crafting, I want I want us to be able to feel like we have the exact tools that we need at the exact time. And this is something that in our technology of doing the cut and emboss folders, we have brought you many embellishments and frames and backgrounds and borders. And now this is our first approach at creating a sentiment. And here's that's what you said Suzanne use it as an embellishment as yeah. well so three squares so behind pretty. the circle makes a beautiful composition so lots of ideas here and uh, you know it really doesn't you can't get it wrong and I think that's what's the best about this is that you can just add these illuminated uh, sentiments to the front of the bigger die cuts and maybe the collage elements that you've started with um, before. Maybe you've got a little stash of cards that you haven't finished. Um, <laughs> add a little vellum, cut and emboss the vellum, cut and emboss the ovals and match them with your oval die cuts. It's really, it just, it's a lot of fun. And I love these, Suzanne. I'm, I know you, you this, this makes it really easy to craft with, doesn't it? Well, it does, Anna. And you know, I always think, okay, what do I already have at home in terms of stamps? I have a ton of little teeny stamps that have lots of little sayings like let's celebrate, love you. We've all got those little stamps, right? So think about grabbing those because what you do is you'll stamp first, then use this and then run it through and it's gonna emboss around it. And if you're like me, again, I have like a gazillion stamps at home. So I always think, okay, what do I already have that I could just utilize? And if you have beautiful handwriting, I'm very jealous. I actually should have been a doctor because my writing is hideous. But if you have beautiful handwriting and you can do calligraphy, imagine just doing letter M's or someone's monogram on there. Or, you know, it's really funny, Anna, as you said, if you're super clever, here's a little tip. Get your Cricut out, do the measurements of that interior, and then design on your Cricut and print, or like cut it out on the Cricut, and you can stick it in the center of there. So it could be a monogram or a single letter, and you're using that as a place setting. Or you want to use it, you know, on an invitation or something really fancy. So kind of let your imagination go crazy. You're going to love the fact it does two jobs at once, though. It gives you that beautiful raised embossed effect and it's going to cut out the shape at the same time and you get all nine of these which is really awesome i know we're busy for them guys please stay right there we still have enough available for you although i do not think it's going to last throughout the day those are probably going to sell out maybe in one more airing all right so now we're going to move to these and these are the little stickers so if you want to just be ready let's say you're the one who says uh you know i'm new at this or i just don't have a whole lot of time and you want all the things to be able to go into these that is is what Anna has done here. Now this is called the mini sentiment sticker set. It's 288 pieces. I love it. She always puts everything in a very nice organized little envelope so you know where they are. And Anna, what are all the themes that you cover in here? And Suzanne, and then we're talking about all of them in about five words or less and because the space <laughs> is small. So these stickers are about three quarters of an inch. All right. So 288 of them. So for my friend, happy birthday, birthday wishes, thinking of you, a note to say hello, best wishes with love. You brighten my day with sympathy and cheers to you. So those are, that's just the highlights of some of them. But what's so nice about these sentiments they also appear on the ovals they appear on the squares so you get that same one same saying in the three different shapes and it does come in the little folio and what's so nice about the stickers Suzanne is how great they're going to go with all the things that you're already crafting right maybe you have our brand new baroque dies or the the, the beautiful Victorian dies this is a this is something that just looks so incredible once you've finished 
finished it with a layered sentiment. So, you know, we love dimensional cards around here, so we always want to make sure that we've got the right thing. We've never done, we've done small things, but never tiny little sentiments. And they're flat. You don't have to use them with the cartouche um, cut and embossed folders. You could just use them That's as, true. like you said, Suzanne, small little um, tags or, or anything, place cards, things that need to be very small, uh, but to mark the occasion on your special day or happy birthday. I love that. It can, it's just so perfect. It's so elegant. Um, when Anna creates any of her pieces, they always just have a richness and a beauty to them. It was funny, I was going through cards that I've made already, and I always pause on my Anna stuff, because I'm always like, oh, it's so pretty. But she does all the work for us. <laughs> so you don't have to be incredibly creative to be really successful. And yes, you can create cards like you were just saying. Again, these can be just by themselves, if you like them to be. I think that's beautiful. It might be kind of fun. You know what, Anna? If you're making a card, let's say one of your traditional cards, Cards and you just wanted to use this on the back of the envelope. Wouldn't that be neat to put it on the back of the envelope? Absolutely. Any place that a little sticker needs to go, these are the, it's the little sticker set that can um, or could, <laughs> yes. just like the little train. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, the 288. Now, again, guys, FYI, they were specifically designed to go back to this. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to jump over here, but this is our first item. They're still available. I think I have. We've sold maybe 2,000 now of this. There's fewer than 2,000 left for the day. They are specifically group to work together. That's kind of the concept, but they're definitely standalone too. But if you got that and you can swing with our five flex pay and our great shipping offer today to grab these, that just makes life really quick. And if you're like me, yes, would I like to go on my Cricut or get all my little stamps out and make the designs? Of course, if I had time, but most of the time and I'm in a real hurry. So I like just having these ready and I can slap them on there and we are good to go. Um, how many of the mini stickers do I have left there, Kevy? Okay, half the quantity gone, guys. So already first airing, half the quantity now gone. We gotta move on. Oh my gosh, I'm so tickled about this whole show because it's truly beautiful. Now, this next collection is so beautiful. And like, it's funny, from across the room, I started drooling. <laughs> I am a paper hoarder. I don't know about you guys, but I do. I love buying papers. It's kind of like I love buying fabrics, even though I'm not really great at sewing, but I am pretty decent at doing scrapbooking and card making. And when Anna does a paper set, and you guys get to see this close and beautiful and go across it if we can, you want to grab, I would do multiple sets of this. It's that good. So this this is brand new. Listen to this. It's 36 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock. You get three each of 12 design. Every last one is foiled. So this is foil golden delight. We really shouldn't rename this foil golden delight because every last piece is beautiful, beautiful heavy cardstock. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This stuff's drool worthy. And look at this one. Imagine that as a background on anything. A scrapbook wedding. Can you imagine doing a wedding book out of these foiled papers in 12 by 12? That'd be gorgeous, like an album. Anyway, 36, three each. We're just showing an example of each of the three designs, or the three each that you're getting of the 12 designs that are included. All right, Miss Anna, thank you for doing this. This is a glorious collection. <laughs> yes, it, it pretty is as pretty does, my mother always said. And this is a very pretty paper set. And when we think about scrapbooking, I'll just show you, you just mentioned a wedding, right? Scrapbooking a wedding with these beautiful papers. We're talking gold foil designs uh, beautifully. They, what's so great about it is they they mix well with each other. And that's always important to me. And so, so this is, you're getting a, thir a, a, a stack of 36 sheets, but let me just show you this stuff up close because it is really pretty. You showed this paper, which is the, the pink lace and it, the reflective quality is, you know, is a little hard, but then we go, it's our perfect palette. So we've got gold on gold, I gold on gray, nice. right? Gold on lavender, which is lovely. 
And then the best part about this is we've done things in two tones. So what you're seeing, and maybe we can see this overhead maybe a little better. So we've got the, um, the darker lavender and the lighter lavender so that you have tones that will match and work together just like this. So we have the green, we have the darker green, and then the lighter green. And I've just been watching Bridgerton season two, and Girl. every single dress <laughs> is, this is a dress in yeah. Bridgerton, and they just got more fabulous. Um, and so, so you have turquoise, light turquoise, and dark, dark turquoise, gorgeous. And so, and then we had the peach, and then we even have a, a really beautiful blue. And so all that reflectivity does end up being something quite extraordinary when we're talking about having the the need to scrapbook because we have crop at home too coming up which is our online scrapbooking event coming up in may and we're talking about making things just like this with these beautiful papers and so what i think is so pretty about that i just want to back up these are not included if you already have your ticket so this is not included uh, these are brand new just for today just for our national craft month um, celebration i think it's the very best of the best of what we do and yeah. when you think about making something like this to commemorate a memory or a photo or someone's life this paper is going to illuminate it's going to uh, make everything that much more special. I mean, that's an incredible photo. And, the, and all this fun paper crafting around it reminds you of this moment in time. And then, let's look, when you start to build things with oh this, right? Maybe you're building the pattern papers. This is what, to me, shows you that you can mix and match them very, very easily. So it's it's not just about scrapbooking. You can use all this beautiful card cr cards uh, stock for crafting your cards as well. And so just making five by seven cards out of the paper, you've got something beautiful. Look how it mixes with the peach. I think that's just absolutely beautiful. And then any of our concentric die sets, um, just have fun, play with it, you know, use them on top of each other. So this is us mixing our solid matte foil cardstock along with the beautiful um, new foil cardstock. And this is where we, you That's know, gorgeous. to me, when we're making a, a, a paper kit for the first time, I, I don't always make it where it mixes and matches. And just because I think it's almost too precious to cut up. But when you look at using foil stamped paper with your favorite dies, like this, the lace, our lace dies, and then a border, it, it embosses beautifully. Yeah. It works so Beautiful. well with all the things that you already have. It's, it's just, it's, one of my favorite paper sets that we've done. So oh, I, it's I, I'm sorry. Clearly. I, 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 I just think, you know, Anna, <laughs> no, seriously, you're hundred percent correct. It is one of the most stunning sets and I've been blessed to work with Anna, actually in two networks. <laughs> Her and I started back at our sister network, QVC, many, many moons ago. But of all the years I've been able to work with Anna and been so honored to work with her, I've never seen a prettier paper set. And if you're a paper hoarder, be honest like I am, this is drool worthy. This is the stuff that you get at home and you're like, oh, and you kind of don't want to use it. So here's the advice I got from one of my great, 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 uh, one of the comments that came in on my Tuesday night show on Facebook. The gal said, get double sets, keep one pristine and use the other one and I thought that was some of the best advice ever because I do love I love looking at paper I love it. and now I'm, I'm forcing myself to use more of it but I will tell you these patterns are so gorgeous and really if even a little bit of this touches even if you have regular cardstock and you add just a little bit of this to it all of a sudden that card or that scrapbook page totally comes to life and think of all the dyes you have think of all those things you have at home maybe the embossing folders whatever it might be but especially dyes that you can can use to be able to completely transform the look of the dies simply by giving yourself and using an incredible card. It's like, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Is this um, perchance, Anna, from any of like antique wallpapers that you've collected over the years? Uh, not wallpapers, but they're they're all original patterns that we've made from antique, uh, yes, engravings. The, each one of these, because it has to be vector art to to do the foil stamping. Right. Um, yeah, the, the wallpapers are all those fancy paintings. But just look at this. I, I mean, when you look at paper and you cut this, Beautiful. this is actually die cut and embossed. 
Gorgeous. But it was foil stamped. So that to me is like, it gets really exciting when you start mixing all this stuff together. It looks like paper candy to me. Um, and there's really, there's just nothing, nothing prettier than mixing the, the gorgeous color palette and adding all that fancy foil to a project. And so if you're starting from scratch and you love to just have, you know, stacks and stacks of pretty pretty papers from us, which we have done, you know, for the last 28 years, we have made some of the world's most beautiful mm, uh, 12 beautiful. by 12 cardstock prints. And these these just get even prettier by the minute. Also think how pretty that's gonna be. If you love doing slimline cards, can you imagine actually using elongated, how gorgeous that'll be? Or obviously on the horizontal on that. So for your slimline lovers, that's great too. Guys, at this point, how are we doing, Kev? How many have we sold? Okay, we sold 900, we have 1400 left for the rest of the day. Again, this might make one more airing later. I do not think it'll make it all day long. In fact, it won't make it all day long at this rate, but it's certainly a beautiful set to pick up. You're gonna love it. If you, if you love the look of Anna, or even if you're brand new to the show, welcome. That's a great way to start. It's a great way to really experience just how truly elegant our pieces are. All right, well, I've got a second five and five tonight. We're so lucky. Limited amount, all discounted. So here we go, five items in about five minutes. Okay, we're creating a story with this one. Okay, how fabulous is this? Boy, talk about Bridgerton. That you, this is a Bridgerton moment right here. It's called a vignette die set. Originally, this was forty-four ninety-five. It's twenty-two forty-five. Anna, go. <laughs> carousel card okay so not just a card that opens right like this right then creates a room right it, it opens and the floor opens with it and you can make That's three great. of these and make the entire thing go in a circle so it makes an entire room uh, you can die cut the chandelier the table the mirrors the candlesticks and the teapot and what's so <laughs> neat about awesome. this is that we give you the instructions to create such a thing here is the room panel there this is the 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 top of this is actually the top that the chandelier hangs from these are the panels that go on the wall like like a beautiful full old palace and this is the wainscoting that goes at the bottom as well so we've thought of everything in this set and what's so neat about creating that is that you'll you won't stop once you start no that's that's so fabulous okay by the way look how cool this is you guys see it down here this is called the handsome dresden embellishments by the way less than 200 on the first item only about 300 here um, anna we've got this down to 2337 four sheets including eight uh what eagles 12 lobsters 22 anchors and 24 stars <laughs> so dresden antique dresden real dresden made in germany um, on 200 year old presses we have the eagles which are perfect for um any of our celebratory uh things that's coming up this summer uh we've got lobsters when you think about that too um that's really uh, exciting. Anchors, uh, anchors away and stars. Real Dresden, multi-dimensional, gold on both sides. And when you're making cards with these, this is the jewelry that's going to dress up your, your paper crafts. So pretty. All right, guys, this next one is gonna be quick. You gotta kinda act fast on a lot of these. I have less than 100. And check this out, it's called the Fan Pop-Up Die Set. It pops up and it creates, look at that, isn't that amazing? And then you put all the embellishments on. This one's so intricate, Anna. This is so beautiful. So this is our very first pop out die um, that we ever did. So not only does it make this gorgeous um, design on the flaps, okay, so you see what happens. It pops out in the center. So um, there we go. I think I'm just stuck on Bridgerton tonight. <laughs> this looks like <laughs> one of those Featherington's dresses. It totally it's so is. beautiful. You're and having a Bridgerton and moment. You can we are, I'm just, I'm so aligned. Um, here we go with this gorgeous pop out and this, this mechanic is scored and embossed and all you have to do is cut it out and fold it and it works for uh, this incredible mechanic of a card every single time. And also you use the parts by themselves. I mean, look how pretty that die is just by itself, to be honest with you, it'd be stunning even if you use it in the background of a card. All right, let's check this out. We have a shutter card making kit. So a full card making kit, you'll make 20 bases, 20 window 
layers and 40 shutter card layers, all included. Look at the price on this, only $44.95. We do not have everything out here. It's all in this great box. Anna, what do you love best about this one? Well, a shutter card because it's a three-dimensional kinetic card and you're able to um, create, the belly bands are already die cut. All you have to do is embellish them. You, The cards are double-sided so and they have color-coded shutters. So everything, you're just adding double-sided adhesive to the parts that open to reveal your sentiment. And it's a garden of delight, right? 20 cards, but over 200 pieces to make this style of card. So if you're doing this for the very first time there's an instruction sheet everything like I said is completely color-coded already scored all you're doing is folding and decorating um, all occasion sentiments included in the set along with all the embellishments and the signature cards for the back of the card I have 160 of those guys that is a massive set we just barely put a teeny bit of it out here on the table so don't think you're only getting that it is a really even the foam dots are included in it it just you get double-sided tape with it you get foam dots uh, stickers signature cards envelopes just everything you need it is a massive set to make 20 just gorgeous cards that are interactive all right check this out you ready all right now we only have two of these available so which are which guys Anna you know what why don't you walk us through it because I've got three out here but I know one's sold out Right, the one on the far right is sold out. So um, we have Le Fleur crisscross dies. Okay, and so this is a, it's a giant die. It's almost eight inches square um, with a medallion to close it to create this card that folds a lot like a lace doily. All right, so if I could just get this off. So here we go. You see how it folds in to create this beautiful square card. And this is a very small card when finished, but imagine using the die full face. You can do an entire large six by six card. So that is Le Fleur. We also have Le Coin, which is French for corner and it has just a different decorative edge. The same thing happens where all those points fold into the center. And then what's really fun, Suzanne, is that we have um, we have a class coming up on our Facebook Live with HSN later this spring um, to make this large easel die with our larger dies that do something else, right? You can make it as small as this or as large as that. We're gonna teach you how. And of course, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, guys, you know, just remember everything's on sale and all those items are really limited. I know we're really, really busy. And so what my producer will do, Mr. Kevin, uh, because he's all over it, uh, he'll let us know when stuff starts to sell out. Because a couple of those, we only had maybe a hundred left and we're just putting them on sales. So you can take advantage of it. Hey, what's happening? Well, it's our big crafting and our last big crafting event for kind of a while. Um, it's a 24 hour event. Anna Griffin's with me. I'm Suzanne. Two little quick notes. Number one, please follow me on my Facebook page. You'll find out what goes on with me for the rest of today. I'll be back from 7 to 9 with my own show called Suzanne Gets Crafty. We have some brand new items, brand new launches, some really awesome deals in that show. And Anna's rejoining me for a brand new launch from Cricut. But Anna, you cannot tell them what it is. But I will be wearing it. How's that? <laughs> I'll wear it too. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a first. And that's going to happen, I think, well, I know it's between 7 and 9 p.m. East Coast time. And then at 9.30, I have my Facebook Live show, which is really fun. I'll tell you more about that later. All right, Anna, this one is so cool. I really love it when you do this because a lot of times Anna will do these beautiful card kits and she gives you all the paper and cardstock to make the cards, but then when it's done, it's over. Now, she actually kind of dissects it and makes it so that we can make as many of these as we want and there's nothing better than giving someone a bouquet of flowers how interactive and really impressive is that and this die set allows you to make that in any color any style you want but you will be able to give people true floral bouquets I love how this turned out you took something that's kind of complicated and made it pretty easy for us 
I did, and that's, you know, that's, I would say that's something I'm kind of good at, yes. is, you know, really um, reverse engineering things that look very difficult, but that's just because I'm a designer, and I really love to create something that's never been, that's never happened before, um, and this is such a neat card concept. So, it's a, it's a square card, it's going to make a five and a half inch square card, the die is going to, the, there's a die to cut the card, then there's a die that cuts the middle of this, which is a structure that you um, pop out these flowers, all right? So the, the dies are included to create these beautiful flowers. And what's going to happen is that they're going to wave at you. So you open the card and they, the flowers just wave at you. And that is so much fun. And so here's our, you know, we, we give you step-by-step -step instruction if with our dies and we give you like ideas and we, then this is a particularly complicated step-by-step -step instruction sheet to get that that beautiful bouquet to pop out. And I just published to, um, this morning a, a beautiful class in our finishing school curriculum where we teach you how to use this die set. And that is such a, this is the part that makes everything pop out. And that is really unusual. And the, there's the card die. And then you get all of these gorgeous th flower dies and flourishes and leaves and everything that you need. So this is, I'm gonna walk you through just how this would happen. So we're gonna start with uh, the large plate system for our Empress machine and uh, card stock and we cut that card completely out and then once you've got that we would take this the the die and the the it's going to align down the center and it's going to score and cut the paper at the same time. And so then what, what you want to see up close is the fact I have a pencil through this so that you can see it looks like it's shredded and there's no symmetry to, to this whatsoever. But what's so nice is that you, it, everything is scored and we teach you how to warm up the paper and then the, the pencil is a guide to get everything started so that when you actually assemble all those flowers on on all that structure, everything moves freely about the card. And that's what's important about these die sets, Suzanne, is that you really, you know, it's not just cutting everything out, you actually have to make it so that it doesn't stick together, right? right. You oh, have yeah. to. It's you have so to, clever. You have to be able to to do this kind of gorgeous golden bouquet, right? And you see what, I'm gonna do it sideways so that you can see how everything's moving. And that's what's so neat. We, we've done lots and lots of pop-up cards for HSN and over the time, but we've never done one that opens and waves at you at the this, same time. And I tell you, this is exquisite. <laughs> and I want you guys to do this. Can we come in, Dustin, insanely close to this, okay? Only because <laughs> you know that whole Zoom thing we do. Okay, guys, I want you to see. Remember, all of these florals and all these flourishes, see how they're cut, but they're also embossed. Oh, that's such a good shot. Now, look at the leaves. Look at how intricate those leaves are. Like, gorgeous. Now, what makes this extra special is, let's say you don't want to do the mechanics, which it, it's already built in to do it, but let's say, okay, for the price of admission on this, just getting these incredible florals, can you imagine how beautiful those are going to be on cards that you make, on scrapbook page, you can even do home decor with it. You, you've got to realize that these are all cutting out individually, so you could use these just on the front of a slimline card if you wanted to. I mean, so I just want you to think beyond, you know, maybe, I mean, certainly I think the mechanics is what makes this breathtaking, but look, that's one of the roses that have been cut out from here. You'll see it, one of these, and they've actually used it, and that's some of the flourishes that they've used from the, just using them flat as opposed to uh, doing the whole bouquet. So just a little heads up, you know, certainly this is what we all want to make, and it allows you to do that, but if you just want to use all that individually, it's going to work as well. And that, I mean, I think this is probably one of the prettiest pop-ups I've ever seen. It's, it's absolutely breathtaking how cool that is. Yeah, you're going to love those roses. Think about all that. You're going to make all of that even if you never ever make a pop-up, but on it, definitely do the pop-up because that's what makes it cool. And kind of once you do it once, you go, oh yeah, I get it. It's pretty easy. Okay, gotta move on. Now we're talking about this pretty gate. I remember we launched this one. This one is gorgeous, as of course all of Anna's goodies are. And look what happens when you layer it up. Now this is one of those guys that I would definitely think, remember, and I'll give you an update on it. Oh, sorry. Is if you wanna do something out of this world, get the 36 pack of the 12 by 12 foil cardstock we featured earlier. That with this and the next one, the baskets, even the 
floral is going to be unbelievable. So we'll put the information up for that again, but I would kind of recommend that if you wanted or you were thinking about getting that floral or the foil 36 card stock, 12 by 12 pack. Uh, but I love the gate one. I remember when you launched it actually, Anna, it's really a spectacular design. It is, it is really one of our best. And it's a 3D design, meaning that it engraves, it die cuts and embosses. And what's incredible about a gate like this, it was inspired by the gate in the front of Kensington Palace. And what's so neat about creating a card is you can create a scene on the inside. You can use the gate to become the beginning of a card, but sit up on a oh, desk and pretty. create a a statement of, you know, a, a birthday, a beautiful birthday card. But we're looking at um, a die set that is, it has a shadow layer die and then the main gate die where the gate is open already. So it die cuts and then it scores the edges so that it can open. And let me just show you what's so incredible about this kind of technology is so that when we're taking a die and a plain piece of well, ca cardstock. So we've got back our, our fancy gold cardstock. It's going to um, it's going to do detail like nothing else that we make. And I, I mean, we've we've made a lot of detailed dies, but this is a this is just a, a, a whole different level. And so what we're talking about being able to do now is that is this intricate gorgeous engraving and so, so to me this is like the the beautiful copper plate engravings that we've done so many times um you know in sticker sets and and now we're doing it as, as a die so you would take that shadow layer and you would create the the background for your card add the gate on top of it and if you wanted to create a scene on the inside you would do that before you put that down and then i'm just going to decorate one side of it and, and say get well now i think this is lovely and a nice way to say to someone okay this is you know this is something that you just need to brighten your day and when we're talking about creating something like this the That's shadow funny. layer dies can create the shape a shaped card for you so if you're doing like a an easel card or just the full shape of the card use it to cut the background cut across the fold let the gate open on the inside that's gorgeous There's lots and lots of things that you can do with wow. this rather than just sticking it on the front of the card and but you can go back and embellish with the with the pieces of the you know cut it out of two different colors of paper and then go back and inlay the die with that second color it just each one of these is really pretty and and gives you a different idea i love having it on the inside of the card as well um, Anna, and then can lastly, you imagine for the holiday Days doing Christmas wreaths on the gates. Yes, yes. Or Halloween. <laughs> like Halloween would be really cool too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then I think adding it to the types of cards that you love to make. This is that. This is the pop out die in the background and the gate on the top. So we're just always elevating what we're what we're making. We're, t we're teaching you ways to think about the things that you may have already and combining them. There's that foil paper that you like so much, Suzanne. It's just easy to. This is an entire gatefold card. So oh, it can gosh, be the front pretty. of a gatefold. Very easy, very beautiful, and it's a trusty die. If you're, if you're somebody that loves to collect our dies, this is something that you'll want in your craft room for many years to come because it doesn't, it's not occasion specific, right. yet it creates a grand statement. Well, and again, I think anything that's interactive is always fun, but think about it. If you did a holiday with wreaths or little lights or snow behind the background, imagine just creating all the scenes behind it and then you open up the gates. I, I just love anything that has that surprise to it. I also think Halloween, this gate for Halloween will look so cool, especially if you use a lot of uh, Anna's Halloween vintage images that she creates in her stickers and all her stuff. They'd be really neat, right? If you did a whole spooky Halloween one, I could totally see that. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up on that one. Um, 
that recently launched. And here's what's funny. It only launched earlier this month and already very quickly has become a customer pick. So I was glad to see we had a little handful tonight for the show. All right, so here we go. This is the next item, which is going to be, where's my card on it? It is going to be our uh, beautiful, oh, gate dies, we did that. Our Azo cards, here we go. All right, guys, so we have two. We have this one, which we're going to feature mainly, which is this adorable basket. And then we have just a handful of what's called the cake easel. So if you love this concept, look how pretty this is. Can you imagine for a wedding or a birthday or just a, anything, <laughs> how pretty that is. You could even do just a couple layers of the cake if you wanted to. I'm very limited in the cake. Just a little heads up, I only have 300 left to go around for the entire day. But this is really fun too because, you know, you can just create the most perfect little Easter basket with this or even a floral basket, I imagine, right? Yeah, a year-round basket. It, it has, uh, so what, Suzanne, one of the things that we do really well is our easel die sets. And we have had birdhouses and we have uh, had hot air balloons and, and now we have cakes and we have baskets. And so, yes, you think the basket is perfect for Easter, um, but it is perfect for springtime. Fill it with all your favorite embellishments. Add the beautiful 3D flowers that come with the die set. And you've got, you know, a little taste of spring. Now the cake goes the same way. Everything about the die is going to cut the structure of the card, and then it's go you're going to be able to cut the base of the card and then the overlay of the card. They work the same way, but they have very different effects, but our basket is going to emboss that woven pattern and make it look like it actually is woven out of paper, which is really neat. So when you're putting together any of these things, Suzanne, like you're thinking, okay, I wanna create a special card for someone. Um, maybe I wanna say get well soon or a friendly hello. This die set has this 3D flower in it. Um, and then there's that foil paper again, <laughs> which is so pretty. But look at this. You always wanna cut the, ba the base of the card out of of a double-sided paper so that the basket stands up at attention. The same thing happens for the cake is that you want that double-sided paper and then you want to create the face of the cake with all the layers and then decorate it uh, with the flower uh, dyes that come with it. So and, and Annie, I'm you know trying to talk to about two things at once. I just wanted to, because we can get in really, really tight on our cameras. Remember when she said it's going to create the look like you've pieced all that together and it's truly woven. That is how intense and incredible her dyes are. Look at the flowers. Remember, now I'll show you, look at this. See the little flowers that come with this right there? Look how they turn out when you layer them together. Exquisite. Like, and then look at that part right there. You see the ribbon? And then the bow is right there. There's the bow on it. So I think when you, when you definitely want to see her pieces, and again, you get the outline to create the actual movement of the card. So everything's ready to go. You know, you get the outline, it's going to be able to fold for you and you just add the embellishments. Also, if you didn't want to do that, obviously you could just use the basket on the front of a card, which look fantastic. But it's funny, and it because who doesn't love a basket, whether it's full of daisies or flowers or sunflowers or, you know, little birds in it or eggs, if you want to do that. You know, you really can. Right, or, or a bottle of wine or, inside there or something. It would be really fun, actually. <laughs> Champagne, a picnic, basket, yeah. yes, all the baskets, uh, not just for Easter. And what's so nice about it is that it's a gift. It's not just a card. It becomes something that people save. They put on their desk. They think of you. They, you know, a basket of birthday wishes, right? Here's, here's an Easter one, hippity hop Easter basket full Aww. of eggs. But this is where, this is what's really neat about the set itself. There's that woven texture that happens with the dive just by itself that we've given you a little lace handkerchief to line the basket it's a great there's a great bow um, included and then those 3d flowers are done in That's a way pretty. that they mix beautifully with our pre-printed stickers and you know, however you want to decorate this it's just a true work of art 
All right, now here's the scoop. I reversed our quantity. I have less than 300 left of the baskets, and I have a hair bit more left in the cake, and I'm really happy about that because when I saw this cake and when she first launched it, I absolutely fell in love with it. This is another item that's new this month. And again, you're gonna see, you get that background that automatically is gonna enable you to make that fold happen. Or you can just use the cake by itself. I think what's really super fun about this cake, and again, you get the florals to go with it, you get all the little embellishments, is that if you only wanna do two layers, or three layers or all layers or maybe these top two layers and you're going to put it on a standard like slimline card you really can have a lot of fun with this so think about um taking this sort of apart beyond using it for obviously what she designed it for because I think you're going to find it to be really fun and quite frankly incredibly versatile well who doesn't want a nice big old layered cake for a card <laughs> right, it's it's half half wedding cake, half anniversary cake, half just big five by seven cake. Here's <laughs> how it works. So you're taking your double sided cardstock, and we've used our layer cake cardstock. It's scored already. It has a tab. You add your double sided adhesive to the tab. You cut the shadow layer. Here we've actually embossed our shadow layer so that you can see that beautiful turquoise. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> lavender floral. But then we're going to cover it up with more layer cake to give you all that incredible dimension. Now, what's nice about this die set is that we have these beautiful, like, Chanel-like little flowers, um, the camellia, that give you a, a gorgeous flower to cascade down the cake. But this is how it works. You create, there's a little stopper that creates a place for the cake to stand. And, you know, adding flowers to that and flowers to the top, that's how easy it is. You're just, it's going to take you just a little longer to plan your cuts, plan the papers that you're using. Here we've inlaid a, a beautiful rose gold behind the cake layer just to give you that extra something to say best wishes. But imagine sending this to a couple that just got engaged or you want to say um, congratulations to a new mom and you want to have a cake for the shower. This is easy to use, and it's something that's going to find its way into all of, like, even there it is, anniversaries, right? Special times with your family, right? If you want to say best wishes on even a birthday celebrating Cute. you, add a little balloon and a little flower and best wishes, and everybody can eat cake. <laughs> and there's no calories involved, which is really awesome. <laughs> None. <laughs> but again, if you really think about it, because Anna knows me, whenever I see anything, I'm thinking, okay, how many 12 different ways can I use this? I love the idea of, like, when you saw her card, what if you just had a smaller card you were making or a tag and you wanted to just do the top two layers? Like, look how beautiful and intricate these are. Or maybe you did a cake that only had the top three layers on it, which, again, you could take all of this apart. It's going to work. So think about using pieces and parts of it. Obviously, the real wow is the whole cake. You know, give them the whole darn cake. And it's fun, too. Anna because she gives you all the stoppers you can see the little rose embellishments and I also hope you can appreciate right here you'll just see again how intricate these beautiful florals are because when you pass it through your machine it's going to emboss it and it's going to cut it all at the exact same time so it saves you a lot of work and saves you a lot of steps quite frankly all right we're going to wrap up on that guys again not a lot of those to go around we had these both earlier this month and so if you missed out on it or you were thinking about it I've just got a handful left for today and our big uh, last 24-hour event of the month. All right, guys, this one is really, really fun because it is a big kit. Now, I will tell you, this is only a representation of what you're actually getting. This is all about lace paper. And once again, we're gonna talk about beautiful designs with foiling. This time we have pages that have just print and no foiling on it. But here's what you're getting. You're getting 24 sheets of the five by seven. This is the five by seven. And again, 24 sheets. It's two each of 12 designs. So 24 sheets of the five by seven. You're getting 24 sheets of the glorious 12 by 12. And again, that's two each each of 12 designs of the beautiful 12 by 12. Oop, and I knocked that over. Now on top of all of that, you are getting 24 3D sentiment cards. So again, you have all dimension in these. We're not showing them all, unfortunately. They're not out here, but this is what you're getting. You're getting 54 3D embellishment stickers, two each of 27 designs, and 36 flat embellishment stickers, two each of 18 designs. So please understand, this is just a representation of the kit. You're getting a whole ton more than we have out here, which I love it when you do these big kits, Anna, and I especially love the price on this because you are getting a chalked full collection. 
Well, heirloom lace, uh, Suzanne, was a finishing school craft box uh, last fall. And when we make those boxes, people love the content so much that they said, could you please make a full paper kit out of it, and we did. And we're talking about incredible lace patterns, beautiful flowers that complement the lace. And the, here, the, these are the heirloom lace dyes using just decorating the fronts of these papers. But we're talking about having gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. All the papers are double-sided, and there's two colorways of the patterns. So what you're seeing is that you're getting lavender and turquoise, and that's not that it's not an optical illusion it, the, the paper does have that beautiful gradation in the center lace that joins together if you love to sew Battenberg lace is a great way to look at this you know you're getting you this is a Chantilly lace in the lavender we also have it in peach included in foil and then we have lace Harlequin and then a gorgeous lace um, a Brussels lace in the pink and the turquoise now what you you were talking about, Suzanne, are all the embellishments that come with this set. And what's so great about it is that we put together an entire garden of flowers and sentiments and gold foil. Um, it's everything that you need that mixes and matches. And then the five by seven versions of these papers, what's so nice about this is that they're also double-sided. So you don't have to cut your big papers to um, make your cards. Now, we're looking at the world's prettiest scrapbook page right here, all with beautiful rosettes. And um, what's exciting about this is it's very dimensional. It could go on the wall. Um, but when you're talking about cutting up these papers and making something from scratch, I always think about our dies that this is our square flip dies. And what's so nice about this is you see all the patterns, all the lace patterns, it goes together perfectly. You didn't have to come up with that recipe. All you have to do is cut start cutting some of these papers and creating layers and you'll be it, what's remarkable is how beautiful it all works in concert with one another so lace on lace on lace <laughs> you can never get enough lace all right guys i want to give you a quick reminder of the two we actually had three brand new items right at the start of the show if you missed out on it this is awesome what uh, uh what she is so famous for and you actually saw it on the last kit are these dimensional little um beautiful little um cut and emboss stickers right so isn't that cool so I love that. And now you're gonna be able to create your own. In fact, you're gonna create nine of them, nine different ones with this collection. And what it's, it's neat, it's one pass and it's actually gonna emboss and it's gonna cut these at the exact same time. Now here's an update because they were wildly popular earlier. We have sold over 2,000 in just this show. I have 1,500 left for the rest of the day. So if you guys missed out on that earlier, see how intricate that beautiful square is back there? That's just one of the nine different patterns you're gonna get in this set. And again, that's brand new. Now, do you see that little sticker that's also inside there? We have that available, and I know this is really limited too. We have sold 2,200, there's 1,300 left, and this is 288 of the stickers, and they automatically just peel off they cover basically everything you need you can use them alone but they were specifically designed to work as the interior of the first kit that we just showed you the third thing was brand new and I hope a bunch of you got it because it's stunning it's 36 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock and it's all foiled it's beautiful I don't know if we have a chance to pop that one up too, Kevin for chance because it is so breathtaking if you're like i am i'm a cardstock hoarder i love papers and i have tons of them it's hard for me to use them actually because they're so pretty but yeah can we just show it real quick guys and then i'll do oh there it is do we have the do you guys have a picture of it because they were just so beautiful if they're it's just, if it's floating around nearby i'd love, i'd show it again but anyway uh we'll try to show you a picture of that can you kind of click on that it's a little hard to see yeah all guys all of those sheets are foiled they're just, it's breathtaking. And I think you get, and you get 36 sheets. So I think it's three designs of 12, 12 by 12 cardstock. It's just 
out of this world. Okay, so we got one more thing I'm gonna show you before we let Miss Anna take a little baby break. And you can never have enough of this next item because I've got a lot of paper stock and a lot of plain card stock, but I love having my cards, cards and envelope bases ready. I do, I just don't have time to be folding and cutting and all that. So she figured it all out for us. What you're getting is a couple different options here. We've got the five by seven, which is 50 of the cards and 50 of the envelopes. That's the five by seven. We have the six by six. Here's five by seven. Here's the six by six. Again, 50 of each. And then we have the slim line 50 of each. And Anna, I, I'm, I'm sure because you are a very busy designer, creator, entrepreneur, CEO, the whole thing. I love having my cards ready to go. Well, th this is very different than anything that hsn.com has in the world of card bases and envelopes because it's our ivory cardstock. So beautiful uh, quality cardstock, but in that gorgeous ivory, slim line, 50 cards, 50 envelopes. You're able to create the perfectly sized card to go in that envelope. The same thing with the five by seven. So we're talking about having 50 ivory card bases and 50 envelopes for for a five by seven card that even the sentiment background matches and then the six by six envelope and square, even it says extra postage required on the square envelope, um, you've got 50 of those as well. Okie dokie, while well, you hear the music going, which means I have to say goodbye to you, but I know Anna, you'll be here throughout the entire day and thank you for helping us kick off our big event. You're welcome. See you later. All right, bye, baby. All right, by the way, check out my Facebook page. You can follow along what I'm doing the rest of the day, what I'm doing later on tonight, and so much more. Thanks for hanging out with me. They say home is where the heart is. So when I'm at home, I want it to feel warm and welcoming and full of things that make me smile and make life just a little bit easier. So join me every Tuesday for your weekly look at the latest ways to make your home a haven. HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900.